Okay, so I've got a couple of video clips here from the, the kind of me moving period. I recently moved to Tokyo from Yokohama, and I've got a couple of videos kind of documenting that. Um, most of it is in my old apartment, um, and it just kind of shows like what a mess my room was and me, my, my many failed attempts to kind of organize and, and pack in a timely fashion. I ended up leaving it until the very last moment, and I had kind of an unexpected surprise at the end, so I'll kind of talk about that in a little bit in one of the videos. So enjoy watching and seeing just what happens to someone who literally leaves things to the last minute. Thanks. Um, so here in Higashi Kogane, uh, waiting to get picked up by my new, my new landlord, and... Um, and it'll be moving to Tokyo soon. We live in an Ogikubo. So, anyways, here, I'm gonna, I guess, flip this around. Can, I'm gonna cut this. Why do I say these things? Just hold on. Okay, so this, this is Higashi Kogane. And, um, there's a Koban over there. I don't know why I'm showing you this, because I'm not gonna be living here, but I'm just waiting for a minute. And, um, yeah. More, more later. Okay, so now we are back at my apartment. Um, it's in a pretty bad state right now, um, so I'll, I'll show you guys in a second, but I, um, I signed my new lease. It was actually a really cool experience, so I went to the office, um, and I've been feeling really kind of just nervous about everything right now, like, it's, uh, even though I know, like, you know, Tokyo's relatively safe even now, um, compared to, like, many places in the world and stuff, it's just, like, the amount of, like, you know, a lot of people are worried and it can get to you after a while, you know, it's like there's constant stuff in the news about radiation and stuff like that, and then like you have to, and then you're seeing images from like, you know, the tsunami hit areas, and you know, I see all the people collecting money every day, and I, and I give money, but it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, I know, like, you know, I wish I could give more, and it's just seeing them as like a reminder that these things are happening, so it's stressful, it's stressful is my point. So I've been dealing with a lot of stress, and I'm jobless right now, I have no job. Um, I, I sent out a couple of applications today, and um, I'm hoping I can find like some private students and stuff. Hopefully people still want to learn English, even um, though things are kind of crazy right now. And um, so, all, so all that's happening. So I, I've just had a lot of stress is what I'm trying to say. And then now it's like I've got to try and get everything packed up by tomorrow. And I just like, it's, I'm having a really hard time focusing on that. And I just look around and it's, my apartment is just wrecked. But I'll show you what that looks like. So here we go. So, um, here, let's just, so there's boxes that have been kind of partially packed. That whole area over there is, like, mostly kind of just, like, junk mail and some stuff. Like, I have some detergent and everything, um, and my shampoo kind of stuff. There's my wireless router. Hello. And then these are my shelves. I used to, these were full of books until just a little while ago, and now they're empty. There's my camera, or one of them. Um, a bunch of random stuff, like, I mean... I love my monies, and, like, I, you know, Buff Monster and some really cool people autograph this at Comic-Con, but it's, like, moving these things is just getting really tiring. There's a old can. I mean, it's just, like, I mean, the... I mean, look at this. Look at what I'm trying to clean up. You know, it's just random shit everywhere. What is all that? I have no idea. There's just bags and, like... I mean, I've got three guitars. I've got a Gita Lele, that thing. I've got my classical guitar, and then I've got an electric guitar over there. And then, I mean, that's all just random, pa like, old papers from work and beer cans. Um, you can tell I live by myself, and there is no woman who ever comes here, because otherwise it would be a little bit cleaner. You know, closet with clothes in it. I've got a kilt. Like, why do I need a kilt in Japan? Um, more clothes. A lot of these clothes I'm going to try and give to Goodwill or some other donation type place because um, I don't wear most of them. I, I probably wear about 
10% of my wardrobe. And that's my apartment. Um, I'm going to do another... Tomorrow when, it, when there's light, I'm going to do kind of like a little tour of this place just so people can see where I was living and then they can see where I moved to because my new... My new apartment is really cool. It's got like paintings and murals everywhere. It's like really fun. It's in a pretty cool place called Ogikubo. And it is um, kind of, it's not like central Tokyo, but it's maybe like 20 minutes from Shinjuku. Um, it's about a 15 minute walk to the station. And then I can get on the Marunouchi line or the Chuo line and take those to either like, you know, Shinjuku or like a bunch of other places. Um, so it'll be nice to actually be in Tokyo like, I won't have the same kind of, like, like, it was always just so shitty, like, I'd be out with friends at, like, a bar or listening to music or something, and it's, like, as soon as 11 o'clock rolls around, I gotta start heading to the station or else I'm gonna miss my train, and now that's not a problem, like, I can catch a cab, I can bike, I can skateboard, you know, I, I'll have many more avenues open to me when it comes to getting home, so I'm really looking forward to that, and, um, so, yeah, so I'm gonna, um, I'm going to cut this part of the video now, and then I'll start it again tomorrow, probably, unless unless I miraculously get everything cleaned up right now um, and packed, then I'll, you know, I'll show that, but anyways, um, so, to be continued. Okay, so it's Friday, April 1st, 2011, and I haven't really made much progress with the packing. I'm going to have to call my landlord today and ask him for a bit of an extension. I'm just going to see if I can prorate my apartment for like a day or two so I can kind of finish packing. Um, I need some more boxes and I have to call the Taki Bean, which is sort of like a delivery service. Uh, a lot of people use it when moving. I've never used it before, so this will be my first time uh, calling them. And hopefully it'll work out and I don't have to like throw every just everything away um, that would be really terrible but right now I'm going to Tokyo doing things not packing related um, my friend Dave and Bob are doing kind of like a April Fool's prank type thing and I'm gonna go help them film it so whenever that gets posted um, I'll put a link and I'm gonna keep this going all right <laughs> so it's April 2nd in Japan now and um, pretty much done packing so this morning um the last night I was like trying to pack and I kept getting distracted and I went and um did a photo shoot with some friends yesterday we uh they were doing some kind of April Fool's thing and I went along to take pictures and um so that took up like a big chunk of my day and then I came home and I was like okay I'm gonna like buckle down and pack and then I started watching Archer, and then I, you know, ate some food, and then I started talking to some friends online. I just like, you know, I would I would put on some music, and then I would go and organize some things, and then I'd go back to my computer. It was really bad. So it got to be around 4:30 in the morning or so, and I was like, okay, well I'm gonna get like one bag of garbage together and take that out. So I did that, and I took out some burnable stuff, and then um, and then I was just so exhausted. I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll wake up at like you know nine. And, um, and I'll really, you know, combate and do it. And then that didn't happen. <laughs> and so then um, I kept hitting the snooze button, like, for hours. I just kept hitting the snooze button. Then it got to be about 12.30 this, this afternoon. And there was a knock at my door. And, like, and my heart just sank because I knew what that was. And um, so I went and... You know, I opened up the door and I kind of snuck out so they couldn't, so I knew it was my landlord and so I didn't want him to see in and see what a disaster this place was because if you saw, you know, earlier, um, I kind of showed around and it was just terrible. So, anyways, so I, I went outside and he was there and not only was he there, but there was another guy with him and it just all clicked and I was like, oh my God, he's showing the apartment and it's just a disaster. So I was like... And he's like, what are you still doing here? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, I thought you were moving yesterday. And I was like, yeah, I was supposed to, but I didn't quite get everything together. And I'm calling Taki Bean today. And they're going to come get my stuff. And I'm going to be out today. And he's just like, well, why weren't you out yesterday? And I was like, well, you know, it just didn't happen. And I was like, I meant to call you. And I was going to ask you if that was okay. But I just didn't. Because I'm an idiot, basically, is what that, that, that is. So anyway, so 
this guy's here, and I kind of try and make small talk with the guy just to kind of try and make some okay feeling, and some dude from the Congo, and, like, he just did not, he looked kind of like, I don't know, like, it was, it was a combination of just absolutely not caring that I was there, and also, um, maybe kind of just like, oh, well, maybe this isn't gonna work. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, like, he's like, well, can I show him the apartment? And I'm like, okay, well, you can, but it, right now there's boxes everywhere, so just let me, give me, like, you know, a couple minutes to kind of organize, and, um, and in the back of my mind, I was like, how the fuck are you gonna get all that shit organized in, 20, you know, just a few minutes? So, like, give me 20 minutes, and I'm gonna organize everything, and then, you know, I'm really sorry, but just 20 minutes, and, and I'll make it look okay. So he's like, okay. So they, they kind of took off, and I went inside, and I just fucking... I don't know what, I just, well, I do know what, I, I got a couple of big garbage bags out, and I just started throwing shit into the garbage bags, and, um, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through, so, so I kind of, I rolled up my bed, which wasn't, like, maybe the smartest thing, but I thought it looked better than having it all out, um, I pretty much cleared off the shelves, I mean, it still is not really perfect, but, um, and then I had, those garbage bags were over here, but I had, like, kind of a cloth over them. And then I got, and then, yeah, this was the worst part, because there were just clothes fucking everywhere. And I just was frantically trying to put them in, like, this bag and these bags and stuff. I still have stuff on the hangers in here. Um, but I, like, I, I managed to actually get, I mean, it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. But it went, it went from, like, you know, it went from, like, a complete disaster area to just, you know, a somewhat messy room, which I think in 20 minutes was a pretty big accomplishment. And it's, it's one of those things where I was just like, wow, I did this all in 20 minutes. If I had done that, like, three days ago, I could be in my new apartment right now. I could be in Tokyo. But for some reason, I'm just like, it's really hard for me to get out of here, so... Um, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna take these garbage bags out, I'm gonna go down to the Konbini and get the number for the Taki Bean. I'm gonna call them and try and schedule a pickup in the next, like, hour or so. I need another box. I think one more box, and I can get everything up. So, hopefully, the next time I turn this on, I'm going to be in Tokyo. Well, actually, I'll, I might do something. Anyways, out. <laughs>